And ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be with you this evening. Uh, tonight we had the 43rd Silver Elephant Dinner. Uh, I've actually attended every dinner on behalf of the Republican Party, and it's been particularly exciting to me tonight because this is the first time that every single statewide elected official has been a Republican. Uh, in fact, uh, it really has been very exciting to me to see a chart that shows the evolution of uh, statewide and congressional elected seats um, in South Carolina shift from uh, Democrat, blue, to Republican, red. And I've been telling some of the young people here how meaningful it is to me, particularly I was so active uh, from the beginning. Uh, sadly, uh, as you see, when only Democrats were elected, but that's how we got started. And so there were so many people who made a difference. Now I'm grateful to be here uh, making a difference, and I'm so excited, uh, particularly uh, with our new congressional delegation who are here tonight. Uh, I was with Tim Scott from Charleston. I'm so proud of his service uh, on the Rules Committee. I'm very grateful to now be serving with Jeff Duncan, who's on the Natural Resources Committee. Uh, we have Trey Gowdy, who is on the Judiciary Committee. And then it's, it's also so meaningful that we now have, from the 5th Congressional District, Mick Mulvaney on the Budget Committee. And so South Carolina is well represented with four new young Republicans. I'm very grateful to be the senior Republican on the delegation. Uh, but it, it's exciting, and I am looking forward through redistricting we'll be picking up another seat. And so on the statewide level, I'm proud of the leadership of Nikki Haley, our governor. And then, of course, I'm very, very proud uh, that Alan Wilson, my oldest son, uh, is the Attorney General of South Carolina, the youngest Attorney General at age 37 in the United States. And so we've got a great team of people uh, on the Republican uh, slate who have been elected, who are making a difference, who are promoting limited government, expanded freedom.